Uh, oh, Code Man. What up, YouTube? Uh, <clears throat> I saw this with a couple of my folks I'm subscribed to, and I always love these types of discussions. Uh, Gronkfan87's got a contest up. Uh, your NFL Dream Team. Uh, I'll shoot a link down below to the video. Uh, there's a prize involved, too. Roddy White uh, Emerald Auto to 5, so... I know a couple Falcons collectors out there. Maybe they'll get involved. Never know. But, uh... He has some specifics that he wanted for the uh, offense, defense. I'm going to go a little further out just because there's too many solid players that could be uh, involved in this. Um, and I know some of the older ones, but I'll name off a few. But he wanted five, what, five or six. Five QB, running back, two receivers, and tight end. And then he wanted, I think, five defenders. And then a kicker and a coach. So, again, if you watch the video, you'll see that. QB for me... I don't even know. I don't even know where to start. Dick in the box? Dick in the box. Gift in the box. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. I'd probably go... I don't know. I'd have to say Brady. I hate to say it though. I hate saying that, but you go by championships, you go by stats, you go by win loss, you go by just all around production. It's Tom Brady. Probably close over Montana and uh, Bradshaw and Marino. Running back, I'd go Jimmy Brown and Barry Sanders. Or no, not Jim Brown. I'd go uh, Earl Campbell. I love Jim Brown. He'd be right there too. I mean, there's you can. I mean, there's an argument for so many guys. I'd love to see Robert Smith in there too, just because at the end of his career he stepped out like Sanders did and tore shit up. AP, Emmett Smith again, all-time rushing leader. Um, God, who else? Bo Jackson for the limited amount of time he was on the field it was a fucking beast too. Uh, receiver, Rice, and Moss, who people have said too, in his prime, there was n even better than Rice, because, I mean, he could make, I don't know how many catches I was at actual games, and he just made catches that befuddled you, bewildered you, just put you in a stupor, because they're so incredible, and you've never seen anything like it before. I'd say, uh, Largent. Lance Allworth would get consideration on that as well. Uh, Michael Irvin, as much as I hated him, he knew where the end zone was probably because there's a big white line for the end zone. Tight end wise, I don't know. Jay Novacek, Jason Witten, Tony Gonzalez would probably be the one just because he's got the records. <clears throat> and he. He basically did it without a four-year football degree at Cal. Because he played basketball. He went there in basketball. Played football as well. But I think he was going for two, two, three years. So, defense, I don't know. Night Train Lane, Reggie White. Um, who, the one name I haven't heard yet is Rod Woodson. Corner Safety. Uh, Ray Lewis. People have said LT. Uh, I say Seau. God, who else would be? In? I'm trying to think a couple of the old guys, and I'm just drawing a blank for the Raiders. Safety. Jack Tatum. Put Jack Tatum on there because again, if I hate to say it, but if you paralyze a guy in football, I mean you you're laying the lumber. When he paralyzed, I don't remember what receiver it was for New England before my time of birth, but he could lay the lumber. Phil Villapiano, a linebacker for the 
the Raiders. If you ever see any of the old NFL films highlights with him in it, watch him. I, I, I saw about three or four in a row, three or four different ones, and I went out and bought a couple cards of his. Must have been four or five years ago now. Just because he is such an... He's just... He's not a dick, but he... He knows what they were doing then was just dickish. It's like, you couldn't stop us, so... Screw you guys. Uh, trying to think who else we got. Nitschke. O-line would be Forrest Gregg for sure. Mike Webster would be center. Hunter Ray Guy or Mike Cyphers, maybe even Leckler. He's if the Raiders have drafted two good people, it's been Leckler and Janikowski. Kicker, Stenerud, Jason Elam when he was with the Broncos. There was nobody that was more clutch than him. That'd probably be it. I like Vinatieri for his clutchness too, but he's too recent still playing so uh. coach gotta go with one and one only Lombardi that's it and those yours so that's it probably went on too long yeah six minutes for nothing but uh link below check it out always good to get a little discussion up because there is really no wrong answer here. I'd even want running back of Natron Reen, so. Part returner, Dennis Northcutt.